Hey everybody, welcome back to The Ridge Outdoors. Today we got another episode on the ammo can boombox. It's finally finished. It's been finished for a little bit. I've been real lazy about posting any content, but at long last, I'm finally posting a video of how I made this. More or less, it's gonna be how I wired it up. If you wanna watch my other video of some of the fabrication, it'll be in the link below. However, down and dirty, angle grinder or a Dremel with a metal cutoff tool. You want to measure whatever size speakers you get. This is the only one I've ever seen with off-road lights on it. Um, same thing, basic measuring, your light switch measure. Uh, most of your toggle switch is just going to be a, a hole you have to drill. Uh, pretty easy. And then your voltage meter, same thing, just a fairly decent size hole. Um, if you want to look up on top, I do have a solar panel on there. Um, that's just a 1.5 watt from Harbor Freight. So it will take a little bit to charge the little battery in there, but if you're camping or something, probably within a day, it'll, it'll charge that up. So just have a toggle switch to turn it on. It has your voltage down here. And you can hear the speakers come on. It links up to my phone. Um, I won't play any music right now because I'm using my phone to record. However, I got the little Sasquatch lights um, toggle switch on here. I'll blind you guys. These things are bright. I'll try to have a video of a bit shining outside, but those lights are bright. Um, you can see it's at about 12.4, 12 12.5 volts. When you turn these on, it brings it down about three or four volts, so it does drain the battery obviously faster. But I wanted this for camping, and so I got the solar power, I got the, the Nylite off-road lights. All these things are going to be in the description, links to Amazon mostly. And this ammo can is a 7.62 ammo can that holds 1,500 rounds. Um, I kind of churched it up, put a explosive sticker on there, and I got a stencil with the Ridge Outdoors 200 cartridge. I just put 50 cal, um, and then there's a bunch of gibberish on here. Same thing, a random ass uh, lot number, because um, the military won't let you know they want their lot numbers on there or anything. So let's take a peek inside this thing and talk a little bit about it. So here it is cracked open. You can see the lid here. I got the solar panel bolted to the top. From Harbor Freight it comes with little suction cups, but I just put a you know random bolt through there. Just have to drill a hole, bolt it on with a screw and a nut. There's the wire. It has a connector for alligator clips or a cigarette lighter, since this is originally made or actually made to keep a vehicle trickle charged uh, through solar power. Taking a peek in here, I cut out a little bit of a, a chunk right here just so I can get those wires in. Um, so that's my backup charger is the solar. And I got a just a simple float charger from Harbor Freight as well, five or ten bucks. And that is my main source of charging it. And then when I'm when you're out camping or whatever, you can just hook that up and be good to go. Like I said, it'll probably take a, a while to charge it with that, but it's better than nothing. Looking inside, you can see the wiring. I am not the neatest person to wire things, but it has a 12-volt uh, battery. I believe it's uh, 9 amp hours. Um, getting a closer look up front, you can see that Sasquatch switch, Nylite, LED lights, and just some cheap Amazon speakers. I got these partly because I, they're kind of my favorite looking uh, speaker guards. Um, they have pretty decent sound. I spray painted them the green color. That Nylite switch, it comes with a, a diagram so you can kind of link it together and wire it up fairly easy. You're looking at the speakers. This is a little 100 watt amp from Amazon. And with anything, if you would upgrade the amp or upgrade the speakers, you would have better sound quality. Other things to make it have better sound quality would be putting some foam in here. I think it has pretty decent sound quality the way it is, and I just didn't want to add a bunch of extra weight, and I wanted to keep the cost down a little bit. All in all, with the solar panel, I'm about between 80 and $100 on this. 
I've seen smaller ones like Mark 19 cans that go for about $400 on Etsy. So for 80 to to $100 range with, with the off-road lights, uh, I'm doing pretty good. So if I wanted to sell this, I think I could fairly easy. There was a little experimentation with some of the wiring. I uh, had a coworker help. I unfortunately didn't get any on video and it's probably a good thing because we wired it wrong a couple times and all the wires started smoking but uh yeah we won't we won't talk about that but we got it all worked out initially uh we had both positive and negative going to each side of the toggle switch which is a big no-no the guy uh that was helping me out i, I should have just done it myself because i am decent at elect electrical work but he had me convince something crazy and we did that and so every time if it was turned off the power would be going pretty much normally and as soon as you turn it on it was like double the power going into it and then all the hot wires would just puff into smoke and want to burn up so don't do that I'll, I'm gonna have a wiring diagram in just a second to show you guys I know it's a little messy um, some people I'm sure would recommend to put a fuse on there but I've been okay I've ran it I've only had to charge it one time and I ran it for probably six or seven hours and it wasn't even all the way dead um, but six or seven hours running out of it and with intermittently turning those lights on when I was in the backyard that's pretty decent so I would recommend spending a little extra money on uh, a more amp hour battery like I said I'm pretty sure this one's nine you can buy less but obviously those aren't gonna last as long <clears throat> Dremeling all this stuff out does take a while, but you're getting a pretty cool speaker system for for fairly cheap, especially if you can get the ammo cans um, for a good price or find some cool ones. This one's pretty big. If I would have organized it a little bit better, you know, I could probably put something across there and I have some actual storage to store some camping gear. But it turned out pretty cool. Let me get a piece of paper and show you guys how I actually wired it. So this took me entirely too many times to draw out. This is the best <laughs> I could do. Um, here's the light that came with the Nylite. This is just telling you uh, the one goes to the battery. Those are the two going to the positive um, lights. So the lights are pre-wired. You pretty much plug and play them into this light switch and then it'll kind of bind the negatives together up here and then there's a ground. So that's what that looks like. <clears throat> for the actual boom box so from the negative and this is a big part um, that this is the part that we got wrong initially you either, either pick positive or negative uh, we chose the negative put this toggle switch on there so make sure that switch the one side is straight to the battery and the rest can pretty much be linked to everything else you know tied together I'm sure some YouTube electrician will correct me on this. Uh, you very well may be right. However, I've used this for quite a few hours and nothing's heated up in here. Nothing's caught fire, obviously. So it seems safe so far. If you know what you're doing and want to add a fuse to this, by all means, I would probably recommend adding a fuse. I didn't have any and this is my second one I've made and I didn't put any fuses in the other one. So. Disclaimer, do this at your own risk. But uh, so toggle switch is the negative, and then both positive and negative go to the voltmeter. So it gives you how many volts you have and a rough estimate of how, how much charge you have. And then going from that, we're going into the amp. For the amp, most of these amps in here do not come with the, the power charger. So you probably will have to buy a power charger that plugs into the wall and I just split that off and connected it straight to the battery. That has a type of fuse in it so it can protect that amp. Um, I believe, yep, I ended up cutting that off. Um, so yeah, both of those go to the amp. You're gonna wire the speakers up like you normally would. Um, you can use speaker wire or whatever wires you have. Just plug those into the speaker, positive and negative, and then there's the the black and red positive and negative on each amp. Too easy, pretty hard to screw it up. Just the positive will go into the light switch and 
that can kind of split between these these two LED lights. You could just put one in there if you wanted. I think the next one I make, I'm just going to put one on top or something like that. Um, so that goes to both lights. Both lights have a negative, so um, yeah, both negatives link into everything else. For when it comes to charging, uh, these are representing alligator clips. I didn't really, really know how to draw them, but super simple. Just putting like putting stuff on your battery of your vehicle. So the solar panel has a positive and negative. You can just put it on the positive and negative of the battery. Same thing with a float charger that actually plugs into the wall. So that's just the down and dirty of it. I leave everything plugged in. Everything I have kind of like a quick, quick uh, detach and quick connect of those. I just leave them plugged in when I'm charging them. And I can actually just turn this on, especially with a float charger, and just watch it rise and charge. So once again, we'll turn it on. You can see the see the voltage there, 12.5. I'm going to turn on the lights, and you can see it go down between 3 and 4 volts when you turn those on. That's just showing how many volts those are taking pretty much. And then you heard the, the Bluetooth amp. Make sure you get a Bluetooth amp. Um, you could wire the amp and get a voltage meter that has a auxiliary port or a USB charger. Next time I build another one, I'll definitely get the one with a USB charger so you could charge your phone on this as well. Just another extra bonus. If you're really into bushcrafting, you could even add that. You could add a cigarette lighter to this so you'd have a fire making capability. Um, I thought about that afterwards, thought that would be kind of cool. But that's the ammo can boom box. It gets fairly loud. Like I said, if you upgrade or spend a little bit more money on the amp or the speakers, you'll probably be doing a little bit better on uh, sound quality. But I'm, I'm really happy with the sound quality of this. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I'm sure I'm going to get torn apart in the comments for the wiring of this. However, it works for me. Like everything on YouTube, do it at your own risk, of course. And if you have any feedback or anything you think that would be cool in there, let me know. And we'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.